Hello, so I would like to do the very quick uh, review of the Sac de Jour uh, bag in nano size. Uh, I decided to buy it because uh, I currently using the uh, Rolf Lauren bag, which I bought, I would say three, maybe four years ago at TK Maxx for like 40 quid. And then I just never wore it, I never use it, and I then I decided to sell it, but nobody wants to buy it. And eventually I said, okay, I have to, you know, use this bag, because there was like no point uh, to, uh, I don't know, um, selling it if nobody wants to buy it. <laughs> and I fell in love with this bag. It's very functional, it's super easy, uh, it's... Uh, it's really good and very lightweight, but it's not a um, leather bag and that's how it looks like So it do it's very smushy. It's like obviously it's like fake leather uh, It does have a zip so you can just it's, it's, it's amazing actually because you can protect Everything so no nothing gonna fall out. I never use the zip though <laughs> But there's an like option. There's also a slight pocket in here, but you know, inside the capacity, it's, it's amazing. And yeah, the handles are perfect size, so you can just actually wear it on a quick of your arm. There is a crossbody strap, so it just it's just amazing. So like I said, it's a Ralph Lauren. Probably you can just get it on eBay. Uh, but I'm gonna check now the measurements just for reference. So obviously it's just like the corners, it's dirty and doesn't look nice at the moment. But let's check um, how many centimeters the bottom have. It's like 18 centimeters and here it's 11. So it's 18 by 11, but just uh, slightly tapered to the top but it's really you can just put everything in here really it's the capacity of this bag is just amazing so because I was abused this bag all the time I decided to buy something more stylish <laughs> uh, more autumn wintery so I went for a black nano sac de jour I managed to buy it just before price increase which happened a few days ago. Uh, so now I believe this in croc uh, costs like 1900 pounds from 1600. Uh, this one I bought at v v Luisa Viaroma. And this one, which is not in grain leather, this is in smooth leather. Uh, I believe it was 1570 uh, and now it's 1700 but for Luisa Viaroma I didn't have any discount code but I do did use the um, special app which give me a cashback so cashback it was I believe 8% or 5% uh, I think that was 170 pounds it just uh, uh, it was on a cash bag for that one I bought it on the flannels website and I've tried to find the discount code everywhere on different websites like Luisa Veroma, Metaporte, Harrods uh, all those different websites um, my Teresa but I found a few discount codes but either discount code was working for the sign around bags but somehow on the Flanders website, when I uh, I received this bag a few days later, I just randomly checked the Flanders website and there was like minus 20%. Uh, and I tried to um, add this uh, actually Sac de Jour bag and I was like, oh, <laughs> it's working. So actually this Sac de Jour bag cost me 1200 pounds. Yes, that's correct. So. Now I have a problem because I was in love in this croc uh, but when I first saw the croc 
uh, version of the Nano Sac de Jour bag. I was like not convinced to be honest. Um, there was like a lot of information outside, you know, that this bag is amazing, it's very hard wearing because of the croc and um, and this shyness. You know, you, you, you cannot see any scratching at all, but because it's croc and it's very stiff, it's really it's really hard, you know, even the handles, maybe they were gonna soften over time, but at the moment they're very stiff and you know even grabbing this bag just you know this it is not comfortable do not feel comfortable to 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 wear this bag and also i found out that you know this shiny le croc leather looks very posh i would say and it will be suitable only Sorry, that's my cat. <laughs> and it would be suitable only for like very elegant outfit and not casual at all because it's croc, it's very like, you know, uh, it's, it's too elegant looking for, for me. And sometimes I'm just not like, you know, wearing um, silk shirts or something like this, you know, and very elegant dresses. Uh, I'm just like more casual. And when I saw actually this in smooth leather, I know that it's more, it's not as scratch resistant and hard wearing as this one, but it definitely looks more like user friendly, like daily bag. Uh, and I feel that I can just wear it even during the summertime, when during the summertime, this croc and both shiny leather uh, it's no no for me for a summertime when this black uh, you know bag I think it will be it will be all right if you know obviously to, if it wouldn't be like 50 degree and full sun but uh, you know I think that it still will be looking good with different uh, summer outfits or dark dark uh, dresses or whatever so I took off the lock, which I got it here, which was quite a DIY for me. But uh, yeah, you have to use, just for reference, you have to use these keys um, to uh, open this padlock, take it off and then just remove this part from here and you'll be able to take it off. Uh, I took it off because it's just get heaviness and I don't like heavy bags because I just put my stuff and I appreciate my, you know, back problems and I don't want to uh, cause even more problems with my back. So that's why I appreciate if the bag is very lightweight, which this one is very lightweight. It's like next to nothing. Uh, so yeah, the sac de jour, it just do have this weight. Cause it's like full leather and it's more structured bag uh, but yeah it's still okay but I just mm, took it off so I think that I'll end up with this smooth leather I already put some <laughs> uh, bandeau or whatever you want to call it silk scarf on it that's actually a furla scarf which I bought at TK Maxx for like 15 quid like two years ago but I think it goes very well and really nice with this uh, sign alarm bag and I just put the ends in here just for, for now but yeah uh, obviously it comes with crossbody strap one thing which I don't really like is that this actually smooth leather it's uh, it has this gold hardware uh, and I'm not a big gold uh, hardware girl I'm more using the silver uh, accessories but yeah this is how it looks like and yeah and I, um, I also own this Alexander McQueen belt which is which is in smooth 
black leather but with the silver hardware it's like it goes like this but uh, yeah anyway i think that this belt will go really nice with this smooth leather and sectival back unfortunately with the gold hardware uh, but yeah uh, i can just show you now uh, oh actually just double check the measurements so with this it was 18 yeah 18 and 11 centimeters so let's see uh, how's the side de jour so we have to check actually this one so that was 11 over there and it's seven and a half in here which here we have also just a little bit more space so let's say that it's nine roughly nine centimeters by 20 21 i would say i'm not gonna you know measure from here to here because obviously we've got the stitching so inside is slightly smaller so let's say even uh, 20 21 centimeters that will do i think but inside like i said here i have to untouch the buttons here just to open anything and this pack is so stiff it's so hard to you know all open so i would say that probably i'm gonna wear this bag this crock like open like this all the time to be able to put anything inside so for example i have like my shopping bag which is you know that kind of quite quite a big bag but that's my shopping bag so if i put this shopping bag into my uh, raw florin bag look it takes only that much of space not a lot can still fit a lot of them uh, a lot inside but when i put this the same bag into the sun around <laughs> you have like very little space inside or i can just put it like like this so maybe i just have slightly more in space for a bottle of water or maybe some kind of um, documents in here so yeah, like I said, but that's actually unticked uh, uh, this button are opened. So it's it's much wider when I just close this bag. Close this button, which is so hard to do so. The, see the entrance, the opening the bag. It's so narrow, you can just barely put your hand inside. And when you're wearing like long nails or and uh, mm, rings, you definitely are gonna scratch the very delicate leather inside. So it's not good, you know, just to have so little space to put your stuff in and out. Uh, maybe I'm just gonna take phone or so. Okay, let's check what fits inside this crock version so i have like toilet 315 uh, mini pochette accessoire and card holder so maybe let's check with the mini pochette as probably quite a lot of people uh, may have it so yeah fits inside yeah it fits inside so that's not a problem let's check this card holder is flat so fits very well also uh, let's put the phone this phone just for reference what size the phone is it's just like my hand it's not an iPhone so yeah fits very well and maybe this toilet 315 uh, does it fit no not really I have to take out and see when I'm taking anything out I'm just rubbing the corners uh, of the back in here so 
it's not very like comfortable i have to put my hand very flat inside uh, just to do not rub my hand in here and if you have in if you have like just a little bit maybe dirty hands or obviously maybe not dirty but wet or something it's just like not good to put inside so okay let's take it out maybe just put toilet 315 and mini pochette and fits like this um, card holder and maybe phone yeah that would be a problem to fit fit a phone at the moment for now wait a second maybe just no just yeah it will fit but uh, the mini pochette and toilet 15 they are empty so they can smash a little bit but if you just make it full there will be no much space at all so yeah i really like it but i think it's not as versatile as i would like maybe in lighter color yes but black croc it definitely will be winter autumn uh, season um and yeah i don't think so that she's gonna stay with me and it's too too structure for my liking so let's see now uh okay i'm just gonna show you so um this one i bought at luisa Viroma and it came only with the dust bag and that's it and obviously everything is tagged with the security tags uh, if you try to try the bag the tags are just like hanging all over so it's it's not nice but yeah i'm just gonna put it inside just put it in here okay uh, but with uh, flanner's order i received the bag in actually the uh, original box like this carton box i didn't get like Saint Laurent box i think that you can get it only on the Saint Laurent website if you order through the website and you have to choose the uh, present that this is a present so then you're gonna get the box uh, to be honest i never order from the Saint Laurent website because i prefer to save the money so I always use different uh, saving apps. I can just link down below uh, the app which I'm using and get cash back uh, because I appreciate my money and you know if I've spent so much money I can just still get something back. But yeah, uh, in Flan from from the Flanners, uh, Flanners website. Uh, oh, actually there's a present here, so that's still old price, and you can see the model. And everything here so yeah uh, it came with this box uh, and have a look you can just have a brief look on this bag so this is the really nice and shiny leather and if this bag will be in grained leather i will not buy it i think that the grained leather look I don't want to say and I don't want to offend anybody but quite cheap and this is a very expensive bag and uh, I think over time this leather will last and behave better than the grain leather am I wrong I don't know but uh, I just prefer the look and uh, smooshiness and just the smell of this this leather and yeah this is unfortunately with the gold hardware but it's much more playable if you can see everything is just closed in here but i can just put my hand without any issues nothing is rubbing you know i can just open and the bag whatever i can if i have to put something bigger or anything you know just look how wide it is compared to this one 
Okay, I hope you will be able to see it, but look how how easy I can I can just put my hand inside this bag. It's just easy going. No no hassle at all. When in this it's so narrow, like it's not as comfortable to use this bag as this one. And you may see the pink insert in here and that's homemade insert which i made yesterday <laughs> and it's very easy to make and it cost pennies uh, i can actually show you how it looks but yeah um, i will take it out in a moment but that's my homemade uh, insert inside so i can protect the leather inside because the leather is very delicate leather inside and that's the information right here. So I bought the fabric probably on eBay for like two or three pounds. It was like a big sheet of fabric, like I don't know, maybe one one meter by one and a half meter or two meters, and it was like end of the roll, so it was very cheap. And yeah, that's this type of fabric. It's like something like suede, similar, and in pink color. So actually I managed to, to make a few inserts from, from this and still have plenty of fabric left. Uh, yeah, and I try to just give me a second, try to take it out and show you how it looks like. It's not about actually the insert, but you know, just covering the everything. So as you can see. Actually, there was like wee spots some something in here and that was from the beginning which bothers me as I don't like anything like that but anyway so from the outside probably it's not looking the great the best but uh, the inside is the most important so it's a very easy thing to do uh, just I used uh, some kind of you know carton uh, or in this case, actually, I just used the old notebook cover, which is actually quite hard and, you know, but still still soft, but hard enough to to cover it. And I had a double side tape. So I used that kind of uh, double side tape, which you can buy everywhere. And literally, I just measure inside the centimeters uh, i just cut it out so it doesn't look <laughs> the best in here uh, as i didn't cut as much fabric as i should but anyway i just put everywhere double side tape and put the fabric in and i thought that at the beginning i had only these three parts but i thought that maybe i would just add the um, here this this part also so I just glue it away <laughs> uh, use the double side tape also and oh. doesn't look nice from outside I should put a uh, under you know layer of the fabric because that's double layer from this side I should I could do only on like one side but I decide to do the double side but if I'll do more professionally I, I supposed to do this before I just uh, stick this this part so but yeah it is what it is uh, I cannot see it I only see the inside which I really like and it protects my bag so I'm really happy about and yeah just use you know the carton thing glue or just stick to the double side tape and you have the insert, you don't have to pay like crazy money for uh, for the inserts. Uh, or obviously you can just buy a better fabric or whatever you know, so whatever you like. So yeah, and it fits, it fits just like a dream. So let's double check, okay. Perfect. Yeah, so see here, you cannot see any imperfections from outside <laughs> and looks really nice and protect your bag 
Hey ho. Okay, so that's my review of both of the bags. I'm still like not quite sure that I would like to keep this, but this is more definitely more versatile. But in this case, this is more hard wearing. And now I'm thinking maybe I should keep this one in croc and maybe just order light color for the you know summer and spring um, season because obviously you know, black it wouldn't be for like all day all night but I don't know I don't know what you think which one would you like to keep or let it go uh, I'm very worried that on this one the signs of use may appear much faster Obviously this one, just whatever I do, it just doesn't bother the surface of the bag because it's just like titanium. Nothing will gonna scratch this bag for years. <laughs> but unfortunately this one is it's very delicate and uh, you have to take care of it. So yeah, let me know in the comments down below which which one do you like more or if you own one of those bags do you regret buying it or not um, the other thing is that i'm also thinking about that this one is more than 1900 now it um, was 16 before 16 ish so it's like plus 300 pounds but this one it was 1570 uh, and now it costs 1700 so it's like 130 150 uh, pounds more so it didn't went as much as the croc version obviously with the discount i i paid 1200 12 something i can't remember at the moment but uh, yeah it's still still unsolved problem from for me in my head <laughs> which one i supposed to keep uh, i would keep both uh, i would like to keep both but uh, i think that would be too much <laughs> and one will be enough will be enough and no let me know what your thoughts are and hope that this video was helpful for you thank you and bye